I am Zeel Bhatt and welcome to my channel Zeel's Pharmacy Tutorial. And today we are going to study about glycogenesis. Now let us have a look on the key points of glycogenesis. The synthesis of glycogen from glucose is called glycogenesis. It occurs in cytosol and besides glucose it requires ATP and UTP. Now, let us have a look on the reactions of glycogenesis. There are four steps of reaction. First is synthesis of uridine diphosphate glucose. Then second is requirement of primer to initiate glycogenesis. Third is glycogen synthesis by glycogen synthase. And the last step is formation of branches in glycogen. First of all, glucose in the presence of the enzyme Glucokinase or hexokinase gets converted into glucose 6-phosphate. Here one molecule of ATP gets converted into ADP. Thus energy is required. Now if glucose is present in the liver, then the process is catalyzed by glucokinase. But if glucose is present in the muscles, then the process is catalyzed by hexokinase. Now glucose 6-phosphate gets converted into glucose 1-phosphate and this conversion is catalyzed by phosphoglucomutase. Now, UDP glucose is formed which is uridine diphosphate glucose from glucose 1-phosphate and UTP in the presence of the enzyme UDP glucose phosphorylase. Now, to initiate the process of glycogenesis, we require a primer. Generally, the pre-existing small fragment of glycogen acts as a primer. But in the absence of that small fragment of glycogen, a protein named glycogenin accepts the glucose molecule from UDP and forms a primer. Thus, glycogen initiator synthase transfers the first molecule of glucose to glycogenin. Thus, a glycogen primer is formed. Now, the transfer of glucose molecules from UDPG to the glycogen primer is done by the enzyme glycogen synthase. Thus, this enzyme is responsible for the 1,4 glycosidic bond. Now, the branch formation takes place which is catalyzed by the enzyme glyoxyl alpha 46 transferase which transfers 5 to 8 molecules of glucose from the non-reducing end of glycogen and attaches to the another glucose molecule. Thus, alpha-1,6 bond is formed. Now, a simultaneous action of glycogen synthase and glyoxyl alpha-4,6 transferase is observed and finally at last glycogen is synthesized. 